Hey, welcome back to uh, the coaching clinic series. Uh, I'm Coach Steve Parker uh, with CoachParker.org. Uh, right now we're talking about communication and this slide is on uh, technology tools and uh, team websites. And uh, right now, you know, it's really just too easy to look very organized to communicate uh, with your team through these very simple technology tools. There's no reason not to be uh, one of the easiest things that you can do as a coach is to set up an email contact list. Uh, you know, type in everybody's email address, put it in your address book, set up a group, uh, send it to the group. Uh, you know, 10, 20 emails goes out. Uh, you can do that, you know, reminders for practices, games. Uh, Team Mom can help you set that up. Uh, very simple. So you should be using email. I mean, there's Google email, Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail. I think there's even Outlook now. Uh, MSN, I think, has got email. So there's no reason not to have an email account. Uh, you can even use your desktop email programs like Outlook that's um, on your desktop there. Uh, so definitely you should be using email. I highly recommend that as a baseline that you should be using to communicate effectively with your team and team parents. Uh, within email, I'm a big Gmail user, have been for a while. I upgraded from Yahoo about six or seven years ago to Gmail. Uh, there is a thing in, email, in, Google, in Gmail called Google Groups that you can invite everybody to and have a private group and uh, you can uh, do that there all kind of within Gmail. I did that when I had Yahoo Mail. Yahoo had Yahoo Groups and we did that in our beta before all these new technologies came out, came out. And that's a very simple thing to use. You can integrate it with the calendar there and everything. So there's there's a, a, a possible uh, thing that you can use there that I've used in the past with a Yahoo group. But the thing that I really use now to communicate with my team uh, and uh, set up reminders and uh, share pictures and uh, playbooks and, and everything is Shutterfly. Really big on Shutterfly right now. Um, it's a, a share site uh, that's set up for sharing pictures, but it has templates for all these sports to set up team sites, and it's got a football template and set it up. It has just about everything. Uh, and if I can flip over right now uh, here to the Shutterfly, there is an old team site that I set up for Shutterfly. For the Razorbacks, you can see it's got team results here. Um, you've got pictures and videos that you can post there. Um, uh, you've got roster. I don't want to show you roster because it's got a lot of phone numbers on there. It's got a calendar integrated. It's got a snack schedule, availability schedule. I've added training videos over from YouTube here that the team can watch. And then I've got a playbook section here where I load some playbook information. And all of this is free. There's no charge for this. Uh, as you can go down here, it's got updates, it's got a forum and a kind of little blog thing built in. Uh, but this is kind of my current favorite uh, team website builder here, basically because it's free and I'm used to do doing it. And what I like about it is I set one up for each season and each new team season. I can go back and look at the rosters and look at pictures and kind of go down memory lane and really love to do that actually. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, Shutterfly. It's kind of your main team website communication tool. Plus it keeps it separate. I know a lot of folks are on Facebook, but I kind of like to keep my team information separate from my Facebook personal stuff. Uh, that way, you know, I, I don't want kids seeing kind of what I'm doing personally uh, during the day or even some parents. Uh, so Shutterfly gives me that good separation uh, from them wanting to friend me on Facebook and kind of thing. So that's that's what you're looking for then Shutterfly definitely definitely highly recommend it. Uh, there's some uh, text app messaging apps that work really good. GroupMe uh, currently using that with the team I'm coaching on now. It's kind of a, it's a text and messenger kind of app that sends messages to the entire team. Everybody can see them. Everybody communicates together. Uh, that works pretty good. Band is very similar to that. Uh, so that's, that's another thing that you can use. The thing that the, the big gripe about GroupMe is, you know, somebody will send a text at 10 o'clock and everybody gets it. And, you know, depends 
if you got some rules around when people can send your group me texts and that sort of thing, that's really up to you. Uh, Facebook page, uh, a lot of folks use uh, Facebook group pages, and there's a Facebook app on your phone. We're currently Team I'm on now. Team Mom has set up a Facebook page. Uh, a lot of times I have my Shutterfly page, and then I'll have a Facebook page for the team that uh, kind of have a separate kind of thing going on because so many people are on Facebook now. You can post reminders and things to Facebook, and that, that's uh, kind of working out good if you have both of those. But I still prefer Shutterfly really just to keep everything over there. Facebook is kind of hard to turn into private. Sometimes you don't know what's private or not. So Shutterfly, I know that's private. It's over there. Uh, the other thing you could set up is a Twitter. Uh, I know high schools and the junior highs are doing this now here in Keller. So you can get parents used to setting, you know, looking at a Twitter account. With Twitter, you can actually have it send texts out of the Twitter account. So you can kind of set that up. And let me see if I've got one pulled up here for you. Uh, there is actually the Razorbacks Facebook page real quick. Uh, and then there is an Aggies, uh, KYA Aggies Twitter page uh, that was set up right there. So you can see how those are set up. And parents can come in and join Twitter. And then there's a little place, uh, I think it's right over here. Uh, you can tell it to uh, send direct messages right there. I believe that's, that's how you do that. So uh, Twitter is actually how the high schools and communicate uh, communicate now with parents and players, and uh, I haven't been real successful with that Twitter thing yet. I've got it set up, but that is one way you can you could try. Uh, definitely, you can get your cell phone set up. I know I set up uh, my cell phone contacts lists. Uh, a lot of cell phones only let you put ten contacts, so I have like usually four to five contact lists for like let's say Aggie 1, Aggie 2, Aggie 3, Aggie 4 and then I can send everybody a text uh, basically there's a rain out or something like that uh, also the you know a lot of folks if you do have your Facebook page set up you can send them a message through Facebook Messenger uh, but uh, the group me thing actually works really well instead of trying to set up your own cell phone messaging it just really how your team it's going to want to communicate. Uh, also, you know, if you need to communicate with one person, the cell phone messaging works really good too. If everybody's gotten to practice and somebody's not, if you get in your contacts list, do a quick text message to them uh, uh, and, and do that. So, uh, you know, you've got uh, Twitter, your cell phone, Facebook group, be Shutterfly email. You can see how many there are. There's just, there's just a ton of simple ways to be communicating with your parents. If you really kind of want to go high in now, and I kind of geek out a little bit, uh, although Shutterfly now is kind of, I really just have my one Shutterfly account for my team website. Previously, I had a blog for Arvada Pirates that was their own uh, little website kind of thing. Uh, and you can you can develop your own website. WordPress is, is what my coachparker.org site is built in. There's also Blogger and Tumblr. Uh, here's a couple of examples of, uh, of kind of those things. Here's Tumblr, which is real simple. Uh, there's also WordPress, which is the coachparker.org thing. And then there's uh, there's also another site that's sort of it's kind of, uh, it's a paid kind of Shutterfly thing built for teams. It's called Team Snap. Uh, I know a lot of coaches are, are using this now. Uh, I've never used it. I actually tested it about five or six year, years ago. Excuse me. I don't know exactly uh, what they're doing now, but I get a lot of my coaches that are in the coaches clinic talk about Team Snap and they're they're happy with that. I think it's got a lot of these things just integrated into one single thing, uh, and you can check that out if you want. I'm still into the free Shutterfly kind of thing and integrating with email and my text. Uh, and then for playbooks, uh, I use uh, MS PowerPoint, which is what this is built in. Uh, you can easily draw plays within uh, PowerPoint. Uh, you can uh, actually uh, let you do some animation and annotations now. And I think you can even do a, 
a screen overlay video similar to what I'm doing now without the little video box over here uh, at the bottom. But uh, PowerPoint is great for playbooks. So those are a lot of technology tools that you can you can do for a team website and your team communication uh, between you, your team mom, or I'm sure there's another technical person uh, in your parent group that can help you set all this up. But the things that I use, that I use pretty much to manage my team are email, Shutterfly, and uh, text messaging. Those are the three things that I use just about on every team. Uh, I've, uh, I've uh, tried to use Twitter and Facebook, and, and those are those kind of work a little bit. But really, for me, email, Shutterfly, and my uh, text messaging has been the three things that, if I use those, send out weekly reminders, uh, reminders right before practice and games, uh, you know, day before or that morning. That really works well for parents, and you look so organized if that's set up. Uh, you'll look great. One of the things that I try to do before I call, even call my parents, is I set up my Shutterfly site and get that all working and have those in invites go out and then I call the parents and you look like you, you're you really, really organized when that happens. So uh, definitely take advantage of all those tools. Uh, you can hit YouTube for uh, instructional uh, uh, things on how to use those tools so don't be afraid of it and like I said most teams have a technology geek like myself on your team that can help you set all that up uh, so I hope this video was helpful uh, good luck this season and uh, thanks for watching uh, my uh, series on uh, the coaching clinic series that I put together for KYA football here in Keller Texas it's a great organization. Uh, if you're in the North Texas area, please check us out. And always remember, play for fun, and winning is funner. Coach Parker signing out. Thanks a lot.